Greetings, my friends. Tis I, your host, the Mighty Blue Mages. You know, I have an entire backlog of things that I can do a commentary on, so I'm going to do one on this vintage Christian dating ad. Going all the way. Well, just starting out like that, huh? I like a man who has initiative. Don't worry. I brought protection. With a guy or girl. What is it? It's sex. It's a natural biological function. This was made in the 80s, and you probably grew up in the 60s, so I'm certain you have your fair share of stories on acid. How can you do it? Well, it's quite simple. You take widget A and insert into slot B and repeat as necessary. And how can it be fun and enjoyable? When it has whips, chains, and lots of lube, that's how. And not leave you feeling guilty and scarred, reminiscent of a memory you wish you could forget. He very clearly regrets his time as a furry. They now endure the taunt of slut. Sex may be fun. But now, sex can kill. Guy must be hung like a frickin' elephant, Jesus. So what does God say about dating? Well, according to the last video that I did, it's apparently fuck gays except for the lesbians. Okay, Dad, give us the right rules to guide our dating. We don't want to make a mistake. Well, thanks for asking, Danielle, because the right rules for dating are the rules that guarantee you don't end up in a jam. Oh, come on, that's just bad advice right there. You don't use jam, you use jelly. I will date only a growing Christian. But what if I started dating a shrinking Christian? You know, a, a Christian who was like six feet tall when I first met her, but then she started slowly graduating to Thumbelina. When you go outside of God's family to date, you're making a horrible mistake. And in some parts of the South, it's actually bad to go outside of your own family to date. Rule two, my date mate must be in harmony for God's will for my life. Okay, but what if it's not in harmony, but it's in euphony, which is a synonym? Does that count? I was leading youth rallies and youth clubs, and one day I'll never forget what my date mate said. Let's put it in your butt this time. Jerry, do you have to go speak again? She was talking to Fruit? It was just a very simple question, but I'm afraid it revealed the complacency of where my date was at the time in her walk with God. So, asking you a question means she's not right with God? Elaborate. Rule three. Or don't, whatever, just leave me freaking hanging over here. Not, I'm... I will not defraud my date, or as uh, we have said, I will not try to turn my date on sexually. But instead, I will turn my date on scientifically. Have you heard the good word of Bill Nye? The Bible word here is defraud. What does it mean? It means initiating sexual lust. Actually, it means to illegally obtain money from someone through deception. Was your date a prostitute? In your date, which can't righteously, righteously be satisfied. No, but they can be sexually satisfied by the right penis. Or vagina. Or dragon dick. It's not my place to judge what you get off on. Or, to put it in a teenage way, just plain turning your date on. Yeah, sex over the 1980s were terrible. You had to charge them for like 8 hours and they only lasted like 15 minutes. The technology was terrible. Well, how do you do that? Well, a girl can turn a guy on by dressing really revealing. Yeah, man, there was nothing more sexually appealing than a woman in the 1980s. I mean, after all, that was the hottest look. You know, the I just stuck a fork in an outlet look and jumped into a box of hand-me-downs. Using her anatomy to uh, kind of really get at a guy. I don't think we need to wear dresses up to our earlobes. That would be a burka. And fingernails, but on the other hand, I think modesty's the key. Modesty isn't the key. This guy doesn't know. The, clearly the key is whether or not he was the Jewish priest. I vow to save myself sexually until marriage. Well, now, how do you expect them to do that? This was the 1980s. Video games were lucky to even have a same feature at all. This is something that you must decide. You must decide for yourself the right choices to make. And the right choice to make is the one that I'm telling you to make. You must come to the point that you say, like the kids are saying on this presentation. Dude, I'm totally stoked for the Poison concert. I'm totally going to bang the hot chick. That sexuality, your virginity, is something you can never give back. What are you talking about? I have mine in a mason jar. You can never take back. Once you've given it, 
It is not reclaimable. Oh, that's an easy one. Uh, go to the gym and look in the lost and found. Everything's in there. And it should be only given to the person you love. Dude, I just got back from the Poison concert and I did in fact bang the hot chick. And I made a discovery about myself that I will never let go. But worth it! Rule number five. Both of us will be in agreement and submission to our parents. Your parents are into some kinky and disturbing shit if they want you to be submissive to them. If you reject your parents' authority, you can inherit every damaging experience possible in your life. You see, he's actually not talking about, you know, errors made in life all over this point. He's really talking about a woman down the road and her name is Stakes. Rule number six. I will put God first on my dates, not myself or my mate. So I get sloppy seconds to God? How am I supposed to compete with that? These aren't idle words. You're right. These words clearly shake around a lot. Teen, they're a promise for you. And if you put God first, he'll put you first. So if he goes first and then I go first, I don't think you understand what first means. Rule number seven. I will avoid the places, people, and parties which will compromise my convictions. And just like that, he described Tumblr. You can't walk through a mud farm or a pig farm like I was at on a farm the other day in a white suit without getting dirt on your suit. Why is there a farm for mud? Rain comes, hits dirt, and turns it into mud. And... Okay, that's a wrong question. Why were you at a pig farm in a white suit? Were you trying to pick up the pigs? Why? Okay, maybe he didn't leave his furries behind after all. He went a little bit further. Dating is the neatest experience a kid can enjoy. This guy has more pauses than a scratched VHS tape. And Danielle, I want you to enjoy that experience. I've been really trying, baby. Getting real creeped out by what you said. And I think that you're ready to do it. You seriously needed to learn to pick your words better. But I think as we've seen and as we've listened in this presentation, we, we have the guidelines now. What, are there sex tips in the Bible next? Who knew God partly wrote the Kama Sutra? There's a plan in dating that you can not only have fun, the right kind of fun. As opposed to the wrong kind of fun, which involves pigs in white suits. But you can save yourself from a whole lot of trouble. This guy needs to watch a presentation on why you shouldn't fuck farm animals. And I hope that you'll make that decision today. That you will decide to implement these principles. Because I think they work, don't you? Yeah. Huh. Um, I know there's a lot of that missing, like... Entire sections have been cut out of it, not just by me, but by the file where I got it from, which was Cringe Channel. Um, but uh, I'm not sure we need to see uh, any more of that. <laughs> uh, hmm. I gotta find more of those. Those things are a bit of a comedy gold mine. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Blue Magus, and um, I don't have a closer.